Hey, Shalom Israel. It's Captain OC. I'll send it to you. All right. Today is 15 minutes with the captains. Today we're going to go over the effects of sin. Uh, a lot of times we teach um, how to get the kingdom of heaven. We understand by keeping the laws, we inherit eternal life. But now we're going to go into what exactly does sin do to us spiritually and physically on a personal level and as a nation. So we're going to start out with 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. The first thing when understanding the effects of sin is we must know what exactly is sin. Because in the Christian church, you don't know what sin is. Right. It's just a thought or a belief or something that's bad. Right. But the Most High God says that his words are plain and easy to be understood. So let's get that. The book of 1 John chapter 3 verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Whosoever what? Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. So sin is the transgression or the breaking or the going against of God's laws. Right. I'll give you an example. Give me Leviticus 11 and 7. Real quick, I'm just going to give you an example of what sin is to make it very plain and easy to be understood for those that are watching. We understand people are coming out of various different lifestyles and understandings. The first thing we got to understand is what is sin? Read that. The book of Leviticus chapter 11 verse 7. Uh -huh. And the swine, though he divide the hoof uh -huh. and be cloven footed, uh -huh. yet he cheweth not the cud. Read. He is unclean to you. Read. O of their flesh shall you not eat. So a simple example of sin is. The scripture says you're not to eat swine. Right. If you go against that, meaning what? You eat swine. That is an example of a person being in sin. All right. So now let's get into it. The first effect that we're going to go into that sin has on us as a nation and on a personal level is sin leads to sickness. That's right. Sin leads to sickness. Let's go to the book of Sirach, chapter 38 and verse 9. Because amongst the nation of Israel, we are always sick. We're always in the hospital. We're always going through different things. And we wonder why. It's because we're in sin. Right. You got that? Yes, sir. So we're going to show you exactly what we said is true. It's biblical. The book of Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 38, verse 9. Uh -huh. My son, in thy sickness, be not negligent, uh -huh. but pray unto the Lord, uh -huh. and he will make thee whole. So in your sickness, pray unto the Lord, and he will make thee whole. Listen good. Leave off from sin. Do what? Leave off from sin. So he's telling you. When you find yourself in the midst of sickness, you got to pray to the Lord and stop sinning. Why? Because that is the cause of your physical sickness that you're going through. Read. Leave off from sin uh -huh. and order thine hand, hands aright. Jump down to verse 15. Verse 15. He that sinneth before his maker. He that sinneth before his maker, before God. Read. Let him fall into the hand of the physician. Now, why is it that when you are sinning before God that you fall into the hands of the physician? Because your sin, that's right, your sin is leading to sickness. That is, the Bible made it very simple. But I give you a biblical example as well. Let's go to the book of John, chapter 9, and verse 1. We're going to show you this understanding is nothing new. Our forefathers in time past, they had this understanding that sin would lead to sickness. Right. It's now that we are destroyed as a people. Now we're going to um, askdoctor.org <laughs> and all these different... We understood all the time. When you keep the commandments... It's eternal life. Why? Right. Because you're going to live a healthy, wholesome lifestyle. Read that. The book of John, chapter 9, verse 1. Uh -huh. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. He saw a man that was blind from his birth. So it's nothing that he did caused him to be blind. He was born like that. Read. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? They said what? Master, who did sin? Why did they ask him that? Because they understood that nothing would be wrong with your body. Your temple would be intact if you stayed away from sin. Because sin, like we said before, leads to sicknesses and illness. Read. Who did sin? Uh -huh. This man? This man. Or his parents? This man or his parents. Because sin is a generational curse. It's passed down. That's why we're blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans to date. Because right. of the sins of our forefathers. Read. That he was born blind. Uh -huh. Jesus answered. Neither had this man sin nor his parents. So this individual had a different circumstance for his sickness. And he's going to tell you exactly why. Read. But that the works of God should be made manifest in him. So he was used. He was used. He was a tool to show the power of Christ. Right. To show the power of God. But usually when you find individuals in sick situations, sin is the cause of their sickness. Right. So that's the first effect of sin. The second effect of sin we're going to go into is loss of understanding and wisdom. Loss of understanding and wisdom. Let's go to the book of Wisdom of Solomon, 
chapter 1, and we're going to start at verse 1. So the first effect is um, sickness. The second effect is a loss of understanding and wisdom. If you come into this truth, a lot of times you see brothers get real wise in the scriptures. We understand things that we didn't know before. But then when you fall away from the from the laws of God, your understanding will leave you. And I'm going to show you that scripture. Read that. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. Love righteousness. Do what? Love righteousness. Love keeping the commandments. Ye that be judges of the earth. Uh -huh. Think of the Lord with a good heart. Read. And in simplicity of heart seek him. Uh -huh. For he will be found of them that tempt him not. Read. And showeth himself unto such as do not distrust him. Right. For four thoughts separate from God. For four thoughts separate from God. Read. And his power, when it is tried, reproveth the unwise. Read. For into a malicious soul. For into a malicious, a sinful soul. Read. Wisdom shall not enter. What happens? Wisdom shall not enter. Read. Nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. Nor what? Nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. So, wisdom will be lost in a soul that is subject unto sin. This is the second effect of a sinful lifestyle. The understanding of the scriptures will leave you right from there let's go to the book of Sirach, chapter 21 and verse 11 all right because remember the title of the class is the effects of sin we're showing you why we're so base as a people because we don't understand that our sins have put us in the condition that we're in today right. read that the book of Sirach, chapter 21 verse 11 uh -huh. he that keepeth the law of the lord uh -huh. get it the understanding you see thereof. that if you get the understanding when you keep the law what's right. going to happen when you don't you're going to lose understanding. Right. Read. And the perfection of the fear of the Lord is wisdom. The perfection of the fear of the Lord is wisdom. Read. He that is not wise will not be taught. But there is a wisdom which multiplied bitterness. Read. The knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood. Uh -huh. And his counsel is like a pure fountain of life. Read. The inner parts of a fool are like a broken vessel. The inner parts of a fool are like a broken vessel. Read. And he will hold no knowledge. And what? And he will hold no knowledge. Read. As long as he lives. You see that? Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding will not be found in a man that is subject unto sin. Right. Let's go to Proverbs 28 and verse 5. Now I said it. Wisdom and understanding will leave you when you're, when you're in sin. That's the second effect of sin. I'm going to give you one more precept on that. Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 5. Uh -huh. Evil men understand not judgment. What? Read that again. Evil men understand not judgment. Evil men, sinful men, they lose the understanding of judgment. Right. They don't understand why they're being put out of the body for adultery. Right. They don't understand why they can't deal with multiple women. They don't understand why they can't steal, kill from their brother or sister. They don't get that. Read. But they that seek the Lord understand all you things. You see that? They that seek the Lord understand all things. Right. Things are simple to be understood. You don't have to tell that brother something 30 different times. They get it. Why? Because they fear the Lord. Their souls are not subject unto sin. Let's go to the last. The, the, fourth, the third effect is you separate yourself. When you find yourself in the midst of sin, you are going to separate yourselves from those that are keeping the commandments of God. That's what sin does. It separates you. Why? Because darkness hates the light. Right. Uh, did I take give you scripture yet? No, sir. Jude 1 and 18. The <laughs> book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 18. Uh -huh. How that day told you there should be mockers in the last time. Read. Who should walk after their own ungodly lust. Uh -huh. These be they who separate themselves. These be they who what? These be they who separate themselves. So in the last days, you're going to have mockers. You're going to have sinful individuals who do what? They will separate themselves. Right. Read. Sensual. Uh-huh. Having not the spirit. Read. But ye, beloved. So, these people are sensual and they have not the spirit. What do they do? They begin to separate themselves from those who believe in the scriptures. Right. From there, let's go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 18 and verse 1. I'm going to show you. Separation is in a soul that is subject unto sin. That's why it's not a surprise when brothers and sisters stop keeping the commandments, right. they stop uh, messaging. They stop calling. They stop coming to the Sabbath. They just want to get, I want to get myself together. No, right. <laughs> you, you are in <laughs> sin. All right. Read that. The book of Proverbs chapter 18, verse one. Uh huh. Through desire, a man having separated himself, uh -huh. seek it and intermeddle it you with see that? all wisdom. Through desire, a man having separated himself, having separated himself, intermeddle it with all wisdom. What do they do? They separate and now they come back with different doctrines. Mm. 
Now they don't they don't believe in everything. Why? Because the understanding left them. Right. So right. now they have to go somewhere else to to justify whatever it is that they are dealing with. Hmm. These these things go line upon line. They line up. Right. Let's get to uh the last part that it separates. You separate yourself from God. Give me Isaiah 59 and verse 1. Let me show you. The separation is not only amongst your brothers and sisters. The separation also is with God when you find yourself in sin. That's an effect. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 1. Uh-huh. Behold, the Lord's sand is not shortened, that it cannot save. Read. Neither his ear heavy, uh-huh. that it cannot hear. Read. But your iniquities. But what? But your iniquities. Your iniquity is sin. Read. Have separated between you and your God. You see that? Your iniquities, your sins have separated you from your God. These are the effects of sin. That's why we got to examine this thing. All right. It's bigger than what you think it is. Now, let's go to the last effect. The last effect of a sinful lifestyle is death. All right. Is death. That's what it ultimately leads to. Because I didn't put it in any particular order. But sin does what? It brings upon sickness. It brings upon separation. It brings upon a loss of wisdom. Which all of those things leave you what? In the hand of death. Read that. The book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 23. Uh-huh. For the wages of sin is death. For the what? For the wages of sin is death. You see that? What this will lead to is death. Why? Because you lose wisdom. Now what? Now you don't understand the law. Right. Now you find yourself in sin. Now you are sick. Hmm. Now you don't communicate. Now you have no help. Now you don't have any understanding to get yourself back together. Right. You're going to lead to a path of death. Read that again. Romans 6, 23. Uh-huh. For the wages of sin is death. Read. But the gift of God is eternal life. But the gift of God is eternal life. Is that it on that? Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Uh Uh-huh. Now, from there, let's go to the book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 1. So it said it very simple. The wages of sin is death. Meaning what? The payment. What you are going to receive for living a sinful lifestyle is death. Read that. The book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. Uh Uh-huh. This is the book of the commandments of God. This book. Is the commandments of God. Read. And the law that endured forever. Uh-huh. All they that keep it shall come to life. That's the same thing we just read in, in Romans 6 and 23. It right. says, but but uh, life is of uh, the gift is through Christ Jesus. Right. Read it again. All they that keep it shall come to life. Read. But such as leave it shall die. But such as leave it shall die. Right. Last scripture, Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 36. So I pray your understanding. And you're coming to a conclusion, okay? These are the things that I need to look for. If I'm experiencing any of these things in my life, I'm probably living a life that is full of sin. Right. And I need to repent and change of those things. Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 36. Uh Uh-huh. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. He that sinneth against me does what? Wrongeth his own soul. Read. All they that hate me Uh love death. All they that what? All they that hate me love death. All they that hate God, which are those that sin, you love death. Understand that. All right? So that was 15 minutes with the captains. With that, we say shalom. Shalom. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries 
where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.